Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, October 2nd. I'm James Spann. Big old upper high sitting on top of us for a while. Makes for an easy forecast. Very warm, mostly dry. Check it out. There we go. This is the upper high sitting on top of us this morning. That will be uh, strengthening. And to the west, that trough off the Pacific coast will gradually shift eastward, setting up a very high amplitude pattern uh, later this weekend over the weekend. But for us, the ridge is the story. It's cold up north, like wintertime. It's warm down south, like summertime. A split nation. There's a watch warning map this morning. Flash flood watches for parts of the southwest United States with moisture coming up from former Hurricane Rosa. The east is quiet. Severe storms possible today for parts of Pennsylvania, Ohio, and some of the adjacent states. Down here, showers should be very hard to find. Tomorrow, we're dry. Look at the risk out around Las Vegas. In the southwest, also a risk of severe storms, parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes. And on day three, which is Thursday, pretty quiet. And of course, we're dry down here. In fact, look at this. This is the rain for the next seven days. Really big numbers across parts of the middle of the country. But there's a donut of nothing right on top of us. If this verifies not a drop for most of the state for seven days. And that's not that odd. October is our driest month of the year. But with the upper high, not only do we get the warmth, we get the dryness. Tropical weather, Leslie just kind of hanging around out in the middle of nowhere, stays in the middle of nowhere. We note that uh, X down in the southwest Caribbean, little uh, low pressure areas for north of Panama. Hurricane Center with a low chance of that developing as it drifts northward. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. But model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06E run, bound today at 1. You can see the big upper high sprawling across the deep south, big trough off the California coast. And for us, partly sunny, the chance of a shower is small, the high in the mid-80s. Tomorrow, the ridge is stronger. Shower should be very hard to find. Upper 80s are likely, and that's going to be the story for quite a while. Thursday, Friday, chance of any one spot getting wet, 10% or less. Highs 87 to 90. No change for the weekend. This is Saturday, and this is Sunday. And we note on Sunday it gets awfully snowy up in the northern Rockies as they uh, turn to winter and we go to Monday. Snow continues. They'll be hammered. Blizzard conditions possible in some of the areas there. But down here, it's the ridge. We're still warm. We're still dry. Here's a week from today. This is uh, Tuesday, October 9th. And look at the amplitude there. Big cold trough in the west. 594 up or high on the east coast. Big contrast. If you're in the east, it's like summertime. If you're in the west, it's like the dead of winter. And there's the surface look. The snow continues in some of the western states. And again, for us, not much change. We do note that there's a trough developing out in the Atlantic, east of Florida. Let's go out uh, 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 11th. Still the trough in the uh, west, the upper high beginning to drift east, and little weakness develops down here, a surface low over Georgia. Some kind of little tropical feature drifting in from the Atlantic. But again, for us, that still looks kind of dry. In fact, this is the uh, QPF off the GFS for the next 10 days. And look at that little zone of nothing right through central Alabama. Check the numbers, uh, European Ensemble. Again, every day we'll be up there between 87 and 90 uh, later this week and over the weekend. But there's evidence things begin to break down out there at mid-month. We'll see. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.